Trekking family, welcome to this video. We are going to catch you up, or I am going to catch you up, on all the stuff that's been happening these past few days. <sighs> Be patient, because videos don't upload very fast up here. Sometimes it takes me like two days to get a video up. Um, we need to get a signal booster. That's on my list. I'm going to catch you up. We got off on Thursday the 14th, dropped our load in Tulsa, and purchased a cabin in Shoto, Oklahoma, from Karen. Karen! Hi! <laughs> on Friday, the land was cleared. Where that car is? On Saturday, the 16th, we did the burning, and then burned from this direction. So it meets in the middle. So there wasn't too much to do on Sunday and we kind of chilled. We decided on Monday to go to Joplin. We're in Joplin. This is the Chevy. He was driving the rental car. I was driving the truck. We took off, came back up here to the ridge and at three o'clock in the morning we got here. It was raining. The truck, the wood sticking out, we have to get it out, get it, you know, covered, which we did. And on Tuesday, I got to bed at 6. Jake got to bed at like 4. I stayed up to answer some comments. Thank you guys for commenting on our videos. That's what I did. And at 6 o'clock, I got to bed. Okay, on Tuesday... It's raining today. And... Ah, my glasses. So, we got the piers. We got the four by fours, and tomorrow, gravel is coming for the space right here. That's the plan. Um, <laughs> we're pooped a little bit from yesterday's adventure. So today, we're gonna go get a mailbox, and Jay took the rental car back, and um, he left his keys in it, so they have those at the shop waiting for us to come pick up. There is absolutely nowhere to sit outside. And there's mud getting everywhere. So we got out there on Tuesday to get this foundation prepped because the cabin was supposed to come on the 20th Wednesday. During our layout of the cabin, we heard from Karen, the driver. He couldn't come until Thursday. We were actually, yes, thank you, uh, glad about that because we knew that it would take us probably a couple of days to get all this done. Well, as we're talking about it, we came to the conclusion that some gravel would be a really smart idea under the cabin and under a deck. So we ordered the gravel on Tuesday, and it was supposed to come at 7.38 o'clock on Wednesday morning. Jay gets up, the gravel truck is here with 17,000 pounds of inch and a half gravel. And here's what happened. The rock pile has gotten the better of us it for has, today. It has worn us out. <laughs> I have to tell a story. The truck that came this morning with the stone got stuck. Well, yeah, first he made some horrifically huge you're actually not there you holes go. in the driveway right a huge tore holes. up our entire driveway <laughs> and then when he got down here he got stuck and i had to call a neighbor and who happens to have a bulldozer <laughs> <laughs> he came up and pulled him out and between the two of them they just took you know just come finished up the destroy, destruction of our driveway. Let's go have a look. We've been, instead of moving gravel all afternoon, I've been digging up dirt from back in the back down here and bringing it up and yep. filling in all the, you can see the ruts. This is a 30 foot rut. Look at that hole there, these holes. Yeah. The holes down below were bigger than this. Oh. So this. here's the condition of our brand new driveway. <laughs> Here, let me put my foot in. <laughs> yep. And that's a small one. Well, if, if it's not um, compacted, uh -huh. just look at this. Oh, this is going to make getting the truck in here really hard. Yep. In, pa in fact, impossible. Yep, that's our track. That's the track for the truck. 
<sighs> possible, but we're not much better up here either. This is a, we have to get somebody in here to level this out. Yeah. So I, I already, I started on this one. This one was as deep as that one over there. Yeah, but you started filling it. All the it. stuff that squished out, I pushed it back in. Yeah. But um, look at this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not Brand good. New beautiful driveway. Yeah, so Jay did a pretty good job explaining all that. And <laughs> this is the big announcement. We postponed the cabin until we get back on our next home time. It's just too soft. We didn't want to take a chance. It could have been a whole lot worse if it was the cabin that got stuck, the cabin driver because that's a whole different uh, situation. So the cabin's not coming up until our next home time, and Karen graciously agreed. She's gonna keep the cabin on her property uh, for three weeks, four weeks, whatever it takes till we get back. So that's the big announcement in this video. Um, we learned a lot. We're at the base of the Ozarks, and the property here is very rocky. It doesn't have as much clay as the rest of Oklahoma or the, the western side. And it gets very compacted. It gets very hard. And the roads are very good. But when it's been newly excavated and then it rains for three days and an inch of rain falls, we just didn't know that that's the time that you call a halt to everything. We should have called Howard, talked to him taken advantage of his brain because he is a general contractor and has worked up here for 30 years and we didn't so lesson learned um that's what happened on wednesday we did a spread jay spread 8,000 pounds of gravel i got up uh, later in the day i helped him um and we had we went got a tractor because we realized we needed a little bit more you know, muscle. So here, here's our new tractor.